on time to see it's literally let me just tell you the date it's october 22nd um i haven't filmed in like like filmed a video straight through in a little while but i've had videos that i've been making and everything over the past few months it's just that i haven't been posting them this is gonna be me getting back into that whole the vibes yeah so i'm just gonna go about my day and see where it takes me now i made some coffee with some white chocolate mocha creamer because i've been trying to drink it at home instead of going to starbucks to get it but it still doesn't taste the same so i'm guessing we're gonna have to get like the syrup and all like the stuff for it but this is my avocado i recently got into avocado like i've been trying to make myself like it for the longest and i finally like figured out how now truthfully i might have put I don't know if I put too much seasoning or not enough seasoning, but I do like to season my avocado. You guys can't even see me. Yeah, but I do like to put stuff on my avocado. I guess I'm not like really avocado-ish, but whatever. I recently had the chipotle guac and chips, and that was like so good, which now might change my chipotle order. I was never an intense chipotle order -er, though, because... I haven't been very much so i'm like getting into that a little bit but yeah anyways like the past two weeks have been like midterms and homework and craziness and i've been studying for the lsat so that's like another reason why i just haven't been you know dedicating as much time besides like the motivation to edit and all that stuff but that's why i haven't been doing it as much because i've just been so caught up on all that stuff and like graduations coming up next semester so i just want to make sure that i'm like i'm in order and i've got everything together for the lsat the first time i was studying for it and took it and everything i was self-studying this is right before i went to italy and basically like i didn't know what i was doing like i was just doing my own research and seeing like oh what book should i get to self-study but basically the lsat has three parts logical reasoning logic games and reading comprehension and when i was like researching on reddit and you know quora is that what it's called and google and everything everybody was like logical reasoning get this logical like this logic games book this is like the best book and i knew that there was like three books but then i was like oh but they're saying logical reasoning is the one that you should go for if any book get this one and i got that but then the thing is is that you know i took the practice test and like i got my initial like practice score and then I studied logical reasoning, but I didn't do logic games and I didn't do reading comprehension. And the thing is with the LSAT also is that it's all very quick, it's very fast paced. So it's not even like I could sit for like a good amount of time and then figure it out. It's like, you know, you gotta go, go, go. And I was so stressed and it was just like a weird environment. So for me, at least self-studying was not the right thing to do. And then I was already stressed because of Italy and getting ready for that, that I just wasn't, like I didn't have my head in the game the way that I should have. So when I came back, I got LSAT lab. So I got a, like an actual course and I've been studying with that. And it's so much better because like they're literally teaching you what you need to know and like showing you how to do everything. Like, it's not like I have to read it and figure it out on my own. Like somebody's physically like showing you the process and that just like works better for me so i guess like to each their own like you know not everybody's like that okay i'm gonna like eat okay so i've decided to be festive and carve a pumpkin i'm gonna try to carve it into a screen mask so my roommate she did this one kind of weird but this is the pumpkin that i have and 
I'm going to get to work cutting this fully open and just seeing where it takes us. Oh, and then like, a little bit of a boo feature. Actually, I don't know where boo is. So, okay. I'm gonna grab my tools. I don't even know where the, the scooper's there. So, I'm gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm just gonna test it out. This doesn't seem like it's gonna work. It seems so flimsy. Okay. I don't think I made it big enough. didn't make a big enough hole. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is gross. Oh, that's gross. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This is not gonna work. I can't get in there while not making the actual hole. Yeah, so tomorrow is sunday and i'm so i'm gonna go to hello scream oh this is so gross the insides of it and stuff. Like, I'm not even pulling everything out that needs to be pulled out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, but all my roommates are gone right now. So I was like, okay, how am I gonna entertain myself? So I was like, I'll film and get this pumpkin looking great. Oh. This is just so bad. I should have watched more videos on this. Like, I mean, this is what people do, but hers is really good. How does she... I'm going to Hello Scream. Um, literally. How much is enough? I'm trying to scrape off the walls of it. Honestly, I give up. Like, over it. Okay, I'm going to be doing Scream. I'm gonna try to make it look like this. I don't know how well that's gonna work though. I'm gonna be using this side of the pumpkin so you guys will be able to see it. And I got this little thing here. Um, how hard can be? Like, how hard can this be?
forgot that I was going to be like telling a story or something. Ta da! And that is how you carve a pumpkin. What else? Okay, this is the final look very spooky kind of scream i think it was too small that's katie's and this is the other side the z i think it's dope i think it's dope Because I was so stressed while doing that and doing that whole pumpkin thing, I wasn't even able to like talk or tell any stories, dude. Like there was nothing. Like I wasn't able to formulate thoughts just now. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. Because honestly, I did not actually enjoy that at all just now. That whole pumpkin thing, like the end result. Like I say, I'm like an end result type of person. Like that was good. But the actual, you know, that that was not it. That was not it. I've been watching House of Hell and I started watching it because um what's that show called? Blink Empire. Like it was on its break or whatever. So I was like, okay, let me get on this show now. And it's really good and I've been getting into it and Lois Blind season three just came out, so I've been watching that. Um nobody asked, but I just decided to fill you in on where I'm at. So I've literally been doing nothing. Like I've been watching TikToks. So close. But now I'm like trying to gather inspo. I'm like, you know, when people do nothing. But people like eat stuff up like i just don't understand you know and it's weird because like i would watch a video of somebody literally doing nothing but then at the same time i'm an enigma <laughs> i wish i knew i wish i knew what's that song there's a i've been broke so many times i i don't know what to believe i used to be really obsessed with that okay I've got a story i literally just thought of it because i was gonna make a video about this anyway but i i broke my toe in italy and you're probably wondering you know Janai, how did how did you do that what happened well you guys saw my red garter video you guys saw my video where um i did like that food like what i ate in a week but then at the end like we went out somebody stepped on me somebody stepped on me while i was there like heavily like boom like that type of step like it wasn't it wasn't anything late and so this person stepped on me and i was like um okay you know i looked at my toe and it looked fine to me but you know never wear sandals to the club <laughs> that's what happened but let me like talk a little bit about like everything else so before i went to italy like that same toe i was shooting a short film and like i don't know why but there was glass on the ground in the kitchen and it cut me on the toe so then i was like maybe it came from that but then when i got to italy i was walking a lot and i was like okay well this walking around could be the reason why my toe was numb like my toe was completely numb numb like i didn't notice because it was numb and the reason why i did is like i got in bed one day and the cover like when the cover rubs against your foot you know you notice it you're like okay like something touched me the cover touched me whatever but i didn't feel it and i was like wait a second I'm noticing that I'm not feeling anything on my big toe and I looked at it and it didn't look like there was any issues I just couldn't feel it so I was like at that point this is the two days after um, the person stepped on me but that same day like I was walking a lot I went to Cinque Terre and we went to one of their beaches and it like they don't see and they have rocks so I was stepping on like these hot rocks I didn't bring shoes for it so I was like you know what maybe I just like burnt my toe that could be it and you know or maybe i was just walking a lot and i don't have the best shoes or something but no no the entire month i was in italy so like a little bit over a month my toe was numb i didn't get feeling back until recently but uh i went to the doctor while i was there and he like poked it and he dragged his finger across it he was like do you feel this and i was like no i don't feel anything um i can feel pressure though like but i can't actually feel the sensation and so he was like yeah there's nothing i can do for you just wait till you go back to the united states because we do testing here there's nothing like you know you're gonna need to get redone there anyway so it doesn't make sense to waste your money so i was like okay you know my toes numb I, it was numb the entire time i was very concerned because i'm like okay you know what my toes numb. like what if i never get feeling back what if it has to be amputated but then at the same time it didn't look weird so thankfully it didn't look weird and i didn't get an infection it wasn't like black or something it didn't die i don't know I guess like if a break was bad enough like 
tightly your toe could die. It was crazy. So that entire month in Italy, like I had no feeling in my toe. I got back, I didn't have feeling. I went to the doctors in the United States and my doctor told me to get some x-rays and this is where things get a little shaky because I never got x-rays. But the reason why I'm saying I broke my toe is because I did research and then the person was like, yeah, I fractured, I broke my toe, like same thing basically. And what happened was my toe went numb. Like the girl's toe went numb. So I'm thinking, you know, it's probably the same thing. But my doctor wants me to get some x-rays done so that we can like confirm and then so she can see where it's at But she looked at it too and she was like, okay, because you can I have motion in my toe It's just like I can feel it and then it, it does now that I've got feeling back. It feels very weird and Sometimes it's a little painful. Yeah, like x-rays will confirm it There's nothing really that she said we can do because you know, it's a toe So the most you can do is kind of like wrap it up and see but thankfully I have motion in it and when a person drops their whole body weight on your toe singular just one toe know that there's a fat chance that thing is broken there's something on my lens so i guess that's like low-key kind of clickbaity because i don't know for sure if my toe was like broken but i think it was broken and i think like now it's either healing or it's healed but the worst part about it though is that like well i guess it's not the worst part because I'm, I'm fine but it was interesting because like my toe was numb and then i was in italy and i was like i am not about to stop because you know you're in italy you gotta go see everything so i was still walking like crazy amounts every single day and if it wasn't for like a weekend trip it was for class and it was for things like that so it's not like i could just stop yeah but i was on the move and it's like your toe so like there's really nothing you can do like what am i supposed to do lay in bed for a month like no i was in italy i had to turn up so that's what i did that's what i did this would have been the perfect story to tell while carving the pumpkin but i was literally like so disturbed while doing it that i couldn't even talk and like make sense this happened like that's how I don't want I don't even want to think about it because I didn't even clean it out like as good as I probably should have like, There's still a little bit of stringy bits. I'm kind of nervous that it's gonna like Cause issues like I hope it doesn't like attract bugs or something. Um, I opened the window So hopefully it the smell disappears like I swear I can still smell it. Okay guys, so I want some hot dogs and usually if I was home, I would just Stick them in our new wave or air fryer or like whatever the toaster oven type thing and make it that way but i'm not home and all i have is a microwave a stove and an oven and so usually like the other times that i've had some hot dogs here my roommates made them but i don't like using the stove because it's like really weird to me and it like starts smoking up and i don't know if it's because of the pan but i don't really like want to be the one that sets up the fire alarm so can you make hot dogs in the microwave i don't really want to do that so yes you can similar to boiling but so. oh no i don't want to do that because then you have to boil them uh can you make hot dogs in the oven yeah you can make them in the oven that's what we're gonna do okay so these are beef hot dogs because i don't eat pork and turkey hot dogs aren't that good so i'm gonna cut this yikes i'm gonna make these i don't even know if i need a thong they seem okay i've got a pan and now what i'm about to do is pop this thing open and just stick it on the pan and this thing isn't ready though so what i'll do is i'll wait for it to preheat and then i'll pop that thing open you know but in the meantime, I will get sturdy. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this. So my room and I, we have like this list of things that we want to do this semester. Um, a few of them have been erased. I don't know who did that, but the ones with the little dots next to them are the ones that we've done And then these are like the most important and Yes, we still have so much stuff left So this is obviously not gonna work because this semester literally ends in like a month, but it was worth a shot oh. Oh, Why is there sharp stuff everywhere? I was a Balenciaga model. In order to feel like I'm being productive, I decided to toast hot dog buns and stuff. So, okay. I'm just gonna warm in the meantime. Make those 
they can like heat up while I'm waiting. And then I guess this is good because it gives the hot dog some time to thaw. Out, you know. I wrote my roommates a little little note, a little nice surprise. Wake up in the morning feeling like A, P to D, B, Bruno Mars, C, Brianna, D, Morgan Freeman. Um, leave the right answer in the comments down below. I was gonna film it, but I made a chicken alfredo for the first time like a few weeks ago, and I did, oh, I did pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know why I didn't film that day because I was filming earlier, you know, because like I said, I keep on filming, but I just don't edit or post any videos. Even though now I'm getting into like the groove of it again. Um, it's preheated. It's time. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, I was just about to grab that thing with my hand. Let's see today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're toasted. Not gonna lie, my roommates showed that to me. I didn't even think about toasting buns and stuff. Shout out to my aunt. She hit 1K subscribers on YouTube, so you guys should go check her out. I'm gonna put her YouTube link in the description down below so you guys can take a little look. Subscribe. Uh yeah. 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 So let's wait for these. Let's wait for these hot dogs. I realized I wasn't looking at the recipe correctly. It said 400 degrees, not 350. So um I mean how to bake um hot dogs in oven 350 degrees. Okay, so it says 350, you can do that. Preheat the oven 350, place the hot dog on a rim bake sheet 10 to 20 minutes or until hot dogs are heated through 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot dogs can be placed in a pre-warm slow cooker and keep warm. Because that's what they originally read. I think that's what got me confused. But I'm gonna check the packet and see if these are like pre-cooked. I don't know, I'm getting my hopes up here. Or if they are raw. Okay, so that's good. So even if I were to like accidentally eat them, it wouldn't be terrible oh i could have warmed this in the microwave just put them on a paper towel it says but it says microwave and stove are the two options okay that's fine ovens still cook i don't see the issue Okay, the key is to put your condiments. That was just very ASMR wordish. But you put your condiments before you put your hot dog. Trust me. Truthfully, no idea if they're actually done. Taste test. I'm gonna do this one. Probably the bread needed more time. That didn't make sense, but the bread probably needed more time. But let's go do homework. Do homework. Do homework. <laughs> but the worst part about taking off makeup is my eyelashes. Because it doesn't come off like just with this. And I don't like rubbing them. But I saw Sydney Sweeney and then she was like she rubs it with Vaseline. So I might try that tonight. Hey guys, so thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um leave some comments, leave some likes, leave some subscribings. Um yeah, stay tuned for more videos.